Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back again today with another video, and it's been like, what, a week and a half since I last posted? That's because I've been really busy, kind of busy, and uh, also just making some new stuff. Uh, anyways, so today we're going to be going over how to do uh, like an action bar scoreboard, which I really think is the best version of a scoreboard. Uh, you can do scoreboard, set display, scoreboard objective, set display, sidebar for whatever, evoke time. Well, let me put it for something that I actually can see. There we go. Okay. So I can do that, right? And you can see it there. Or I can put it in the list, and you can see it in the tab bar. Or I can put it below name, and if somebody else is playing, they'll see it below my name. And there's just a bunch of other displays, right? Uh, let's just see this. So there's, like, sidebar where specific teams can see it. And, uh, yeah. So uh, one thing that... Uh, that I thought was kind of annoying about this is that a lot of times you can't see the numbers in color. They're always red and the scoreboard is always white and it's kind of annoying. I know there's a way to fix this, but this is the easiest way to do something that looks really nice and it's going to show up right here with the new action bar. So as you can see, I switch items and it says repeating command block, structure block, whatever. So basically it goes right above that, if not right where that is, which is really nice. And it's a new update in 1.11, uh, which is title action bar. So we're going to go to this website and we're going to create it. So first what you want to do is create a new scoreboard to actually be displaying. So I'm going to do scoreboard objectives, add kills total kill count there we go okay so then it's going to display how many kills i have and uh maybe i should do one that's deaths and then death count there you go okay so then we want to pull up this website so here we are on minecraftjason.com dot and you want to click this tab right here which is title or you could use a different generator whatever you want and change it uh you could change the selector if you want whatever you're just gonna click add text and you're going to pick, uh, I'm just going to do some little effects. So one, two, three little lines, and I'm going to make them, I don't know, gold. And then I'm going to add the text kills. Uh, let's make it, let's make it look nice. Let's add another one that says kills and we'll make it green. And then what you want to do is add a space after the word that you, after the colons, that way um, the number won't be attached to the colons. And then you want to add scoreboard objectives and do at P kills. Okay, so what it's going to do is when it's ran, the nearest player to the command when it's ran is going to see their own kills. So you won't see each other's kills, uh, which is one of the downfalls, but you can always do... Um, you can always change around with the syntax to do selector, so at P, and then their kills. You can always play around with that if you want. But this is more for players themselves. So we'll make the kills number in dark green. Um, that way it's a little bit different. And uh, Or maybe we'll make, let's make this dark green and let's make the kills number green. So let's do that. And at this point, it's really just aesthetic, just whatever you want to choose. Um, then we're going to add, let's just put a divider like so. Make it gold like that. And then let's add deaths in, with a space at the end in dark red and then let's add a scoreboard at p and i believe it's deaths is it kills with a capital it's kills with a capital deaths with a capital okay um and then we're going to pick red and there we go then we're going to add one more which is going to be this and three arrows to close it off there we go, and let's make it gold just to keep consistency. And there you go, so we made it. So now we copy the command and we go back into our world, uh, copy and paste it, and instead you want to do slash execute at, well, you could execute at A, tilde tilde tilde, and then title at P, and then what you do is action bar, like so. And then you just want to power it. So what's what we're doing here is we're executing at every player in the world, and it's telling this title to the nearest player. So it's specific to them. So it's only telling the per like each player is going to get their own specific action bar given to them. Um, so I'm only going to see an action bar that displays my kills, and another guy is only going to see an action bar that displays his kills. That's what the app P is for. Um, so then we're going to power this, and here you go. So. Of course, the chat can sometimes constrict it. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Let's just give it a second here before the chat goes away. There you go. So you can see kills, deaths, and it's blank. So let me get some kills and get some deaths. So let me set the time tonight and do all that. Okay, so as you can see, we have some mobs spawning in here. And I guess we can fight them and just see how long we last. And you'll see 
as soon as I got that killed, the scoreboard updates to kills of one. And um, in one of my maps, I do I created one that displays how many mobs there are. Um, so there you go, kills of two. And let's get a death, just for instance. Let's see. Death, 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 please. There you go. And deaths of one. And I think this looks a lot better than putting it in the sidebar. It's a little bit less, it's it's less distracting and more noticeable. So you see it, which is kind of confusing. But in my opinion, you see it a lot easier. And looking at it isn't going to make you completely fail. And uh, you can usually just ignore it. But you're always going to like, it's, it's more on your mind. Like I pay more attention to these scoreboards here than I do to ones on the sidebar. Um, just because they're colorful and they're more in my face. And it's not really inconvenient because I don't have to look that far away to see them. Um, and you can use this for a bunch of things. Uh, in my Call of Duty guns, I'm probably going to implement it so that they have, uh, so that this show right there, it shows their ammo and how much ammo, how much reserve clip they ammo they have as well. Um, and that'll be really cool. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's really all I had to show for you today. I just thought this was a really cool idea that you can use in your maps. I'm sure somebody else has already talked about it, but whatever. Um, but other than that, guys, I'll be making more videos uh, a little bit more frequently uh, after once December starts. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.